a controller? It's one player, but we all share in the reading oh. and the uh, clues, the oh, like evidence. This. Seems way less stressful than that. Now we won our first case, but. call is here. Beep. Hello? This is Maria? Maria? Hey, Maria. It's Millie. Now, Miss Faye, I'll take what's mine. The papers! I'm sorry, but I can't give you what I don't have. Miss Faye, you are a poor liar. Why, I see it right over there. That must be the thinker that swallowed those papers. How could you know? Ho, oh, oh, ho! You are not cogniferous of my back. Ground. Gathering information is my business, you see. I'm, I'm really confused, Mom. Someone's threatening the lawyer lady, Mia, wanting the papers that she hid in the tinker clock. Oh. I, I should have been more careful. Ho, ho. My dear Miss Faye, I am so very sorry. But I am afraid I must ask you for one more thing. Your eternal silence. Farewell, Miss Faye. No! Don't kill Miss Faye, she's my character. Oh, and second person killed with this clock. 
This is bad luck. Oh, this clock is cursed. Red, white, blue. <laughs> okay, so that lady's dead now. September 5th, 908 p.m. Bay and Co. Wow. Gold drop jack cold. I love the one. Oh my gosh, that's so cool. What's that here? Chief Wood. What she will be under the weed. That's me? The body is still warm. I feel I don't want to show it. She's this guy's box. She's the head attorney at the law firm. His mentor.
from outside the window? She's staring right at me. She's holding a phone in her hand. She must be staying at the hotel. show her the receipt. I never thought there'd be a use for evidence like this outside the courtroom. Thank 
So, it's, um, hmm. probably shouldn't have asked her about the murder of him. I also think she mentioned there were supposed to be papers in the city. But anything about this note, before Mia died, she wrote a message with her own blood. Did she though? She wrote it on the back of this receipt. But that's my name. Well, why? Why would she write my name? Please, just calm down. Well, why would your sis write my name? Uh-oh. Now I've got it. Wee, 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 wee. It's the buzz. This is a witness. The police. Sounds like you're coming this way. Please, police. Don't you. All right, I'm Detective Dick Don't you see? Don't you? What an odd name. We, re fucked up now. <laughs> we received a report from the building across the way, see? Got a person saying they saw a murder, see? It must have been that woman I saw. The gigantic breasts that I could see from all the way across the city. Uh -uh. Anyway, I don't want either of you moving one inch, okay? Great. Just great. Maya, wait. She wouldn't have. Whoa! Excuse me! Eek! Does the word Maya here mean anything to you? Um, that's... That's my name. What? The victim drew this here note in her own blood, see? With her dying breath, she wrote down the killer's name! Killer? I'm not. Case closed! You're coming down to the precinct, ma'am. Whoa, what? I wasn't even trying to try back. Damn, this is bad off. Mia's younger sister, Maya, was arrested on this spot. I was taken in for questioning and didn't get out until the next morning. My eyes were heavy, but I couldn't sleep. I sat around waiting for visiting hours to begin at the detention center. I had to talk to Maya as soon as possible. September 6, 907 a.m., detention center, visitor's room. Wow, they have poor Maya locked up like a criminal. Oh, it's you, the lawyer. Good, good morning. Good morning. Uncle Grandpa? She looks so tired. Um, are you going to be my attorney? Well, that's what I want to talk to you about. Of course I will. First things first, I better get her cheered up. Yeah, of course I will. Cheer up. Really? Oh, did I say the wrong thing? She looks sadder now. Um, what? What's wrong? You don't think I can do it? No, no one could. Who would believe me? Even you when you found me in the office. You looked at me like I had done it. Did I look at her like that? No, no, no. I never thought. It's okay. I understand. I also heard about you. Heard? Heard what about me? I was talking to my sister on the phone the other day. The day was my junior partner's first time in court. This is referring to the last trial we did. Normally it's in the courtroom. This is our first time, like, gathering evidence and seeing. Wow! Really? How'd that go? It was quite the scene. Honestly, I was on edge the whole time. It's been a while. Ha! Huh. So he crashed and burned. He's a genius. We're talking about us two or three. What's that? She thought we were a genius. But was this two guys <laughs> with Nintendo Switch? One of those strike fear into the hearts of evil types. The only thing he's lacking is experience. Huh, sounds like it was fun. Well, I know who to go to if I ever get into trouble now. I don't know, Maya. I think you might want to wait. Give him three more years. That is, unless you want to be found guilty. Oh, that's right. Nice. That's what she said. Uh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to insult you. No, it's okay. It's true, I guess. But at the same time, I can't just sit by and watch. When I think of the person who did this to Mia...
figure out how to get my uh, clear of these false charges and find out who really did it. There's something I've been wanting to ask you. Yes? What's with that outfit? Oh, this? This is what all acolytes wear. It's my uniform, you could say. Uh, acolytes? Like people in religious training? What is it you do? Oh, it's nothing strange, really. I'm a spirit medium. In training. A spirit medium? I'm pretty sure that qualifies as strange. Talk to me more about spirit mediums. So you're an acolyte. Yeah, you're medium in training. That's right. The Fay family, especially the women, have always been very sensitive to the spirit world. Wait a second, you said the Fay family? So Mia was into this stuff too? Of course. She left the mountain to follow her career, she said. Her powers were first class too. I I have no idea. Hmm. Wait! What? So you're a real honest to goodness spirit medium with ESP and all that? Yes, in training. Well, can't you contact me a spirit then? Or you just ask her who killed her? I, I'm sorry. I'm still in training. I couldn't do something on that level. Hmm, I thought that would be too easy. Let's talk about the day of the crime. Did you tell me about the day of the murder? Yes. Let's see, that morning I got a call from my sister. She wanted me to hold on to a piece of evidence for an upcoming trial. Evidence? Yes. That clock shaped like the finger. The one Larry made. How could that have been evidence in a case? Um, right. She said something about that. I remember. Do you want to hear it in her own voice? In her own voice? Yes. I'm pretty sure our conversation is on my cell phone. You recorded it. Yeah. I forgot to delete those things. Dear God, don't delete it. That's the only thing separating you from life in prison, lady. Okay? We gotta get that in evidence. So, you say you have a conversation with your sister on your cell phone? Let's hear it. Right. Oh. I just remembered that detective took my cell phone. Sorry. Oh, right. Of course. Next time I see Detective Gumshoe, I'll ask him for it. I'll write you a note so you don't forget. Sure, thanks. My as no. A conversation I had with my sister is recorded on my cell phone. Thank you. Um. Huh? Something the matter? Um, I was wondering, could I ask you a favor? This is the address of a famous lawyer. My sister gave me this a long time ago. She said if I was ever in trouble, I should call him. And, well, I'm in trouble. Do you think you could go ask him to represent me? Hmm. Okay, all I've been doing the last few hours is talking about it. I kind of got used to it. 
let's see, that morning I got a call from my sister. She wanted me to hold on to a piece of evidence for her own trial. That's the Pinker Club, Larry Man. Apparently qualifies as a serial murderer. <laughs> so then, when did you arrive at the office? It was right around nine. The lights were off and I could smell blood. And then I found her, my sister. Thanks, Maya. That's all I need to hear for now. say when he'd be back. It must be hard to keep track of everything when you're a famous lawyer. Not to mention running an office like this. I guess we'll just have to come back later. But first, before we go, let's just do a quick look-see-loo. A table for clients. Hmm. An elegant ebony case. And if not mistaken, that lighter's made of solid gold. Even I can tell someone here's got money to burn. An expensive potted plant. No idea what kind of plant it is, but it's probably the most expensive one available. That painting has been bugging me ever since I stepped in here. The oil paint is so thick it's practically giving me a stuffed nose. I'm sure the price is nothing to sneeze at either, for that matter. Expensive looking mahogany bookshelves filled with expensive looking books. Hmm, funny. They don't look like they've ever been read. Solid mahogany desk. The wood's been polished to a deep luster. Let's go back to the detention center and let her know, hey, couldn't find it. Hey, what is it? Did you meet the lawyer? Sorry, I haven't seen him yet. I see. Hmm, I better go see. Hey. Hmm, I better go see if I can find this elite lawyer she's talking about. Innocent. 
Lisa's consultation with the medium had all been carried out in secret, of course, but a man found out about it and leaked it to the press. He told all the papers that my mother was a fraud, and the media jumped on it big time. She, my mother, became the laughing stock of the nation. I see. White. Excuse me? White? That was his name. My sister told me. White? searching for clues. Hey, you there. This is a crime scene, pal. No trespassing. Um, sorry. Don't I know you from somewhere? Wait, you're the butts guy, aren't you? No, no. Phoenix Wright. How could anyone mistake me for Larry? Ah, guess I got the wrong name, Mr. Wright. Sorry about that. That butts guy, he was a killer. And you're no killer, right? He was proven innocent. Um, uh, right, and you were Detective Gumshoe. Dick Gumshoe? Right, that's your service. Hey, that's Detective Gumshoe to you, pal. Anyway, get the name right. I hate this guy already. Yeah, and don't go calling me Dick. It's gonna be cruel. Hey, Dick, get over here. Yes, sir. Be right there. You're her lawyer, right, pal? If you got business here, you'd better do it quick. Whew, he thinks I'm Maya's lawyer. Now we can examine our own so we missed anything. Oh, he is favorite part of Flint. I remember it had this bizarre name no one could ever remember. Cordeline Stricta, pal. Who was that? An old movie poster. Apparently, this was the first movie that made Mia cry when she saw it. I'll have to check it out one of these days. Mia's desk. Perfect between his eyes. The only thing that's missing is Mia. There's a horrendous amount of legal books in here. Scarier still is that Mia probably read all of these. He doesn't feel pain. He doesn't feel remorse. 
He won't stop until he gets his guilty verdict. Ah, oh, don't talk about him that way. You make him barely sound human. Still, I'm afraid this pretty much decides the case. So Fedgeworth is on this one. He hasn't lost a case since he became a prosecutor at the incredibly young age of 20. Of course, there are rumors of back out of deals and forged evidence. Forged evidence. Oh, All I know for sure is that Edward hates crime with an almost abnormal passion. I never imagined I'd be facing him so soon. See my FA's cell phone? Oh, that? I have that. Do you think you could give it back? Sure. I mean, wait a second, pal. <sighs> Tricky lawyer. Uh oh, he's on me. Tell him straight or tell him not so straight? I'd say tell him straight. If I tell him what I want it, there's no way he'll give it to me. Excuse me. 
me. Sorry, but I already checked all the numbers in memory. Impressive. You're quite the detective. Uh huh. Oh, here, you can have the phone back. There weren't any suspicious call records in there after all. Seems he didn't notice the recorded conversation. You want a cell phone received from Detective Gunshot. Check the court record to hear the recorded conversation. I guess I've asked all the questions I need to. You're all done, pal? Um, yes, thank you. I'll be heading out now. Oh, wait. One more thing I wanted to mention to you. I don't suppose you're planning on talking to that witness. Anyway, you better not. No one's going to see the witness with your worldly ways, pal. Come to think of it, I had completely forgotten about her. Uh, witness? Yeah, Miss April May. I'm sorry, about this. But I can't tell you anything about her. Well, you just told me her name. Miss May, huh? Aha! Here try your loyally tricks on me now. Yeah. She's not to go outside her room until the trial. Why? So she's still in the hotel across the way. I guess I should know better than to try to get technical link information. <laughs> you got that right, pal. <laughs> Trying to be a visit to Miss me. so I can look the part of the beautiful eyewitness. <laughs> okay. I pity the Lord that has to cross the line on this one. Okay. I pity the Lord that has to cross the line on this one. inside the drawer. A bottle and two glasses are on the table. Somebody must be staying with her. A simple bed. It's been recently made. Nothing I catch in here. Okay. 
Ah, yes. My affray. Go on. Hmm? Why the strange reaction? Ah-cha-cha. -cha. I'm really quite busy here, son. But earlier, didn't you say that you want to... Yes, cases. Yes. I can't go taking cases on a day's notice. No, it's quite impossible. Whoa, wait a second. How did you know the trial was tomorrow? Erp? Ahem. Uh, anyway. I'm afraid it's entirely impossible for me to represent her. Sorry, end of discussion. Good not? He refused me before I even got a chance to ask him. What do I tell Maya? Pride and joy. Impressive, isn't it? Well, isn't it? <sighs> the sky, the hue of the sea, the weave of the straw hat. I feel like punching this. I punch! Punch! <laughs> it's worth at least three million. I have no intention of parting with it, of course. No, I won't sell it. Not even to you. I wasn't interested. <sighs> it's not for sale. Because someone has to look up 
the people but no one on their side. Count on me. Hope has arrived. So that's so kind of you, Smith. Sir. Excuse me, you are? Ah, I beg your pardon, sir. I am the bellboy of the establishment. At your service, sir. Oh, right. I just come to deliver room service, sir. Um, do you know where Miss May might be? Ah, move our gate. <coughs> our guest, Miss May, is currently using the er, facilities. This is a perfect time to look in the drawer. If you've no need of anything, I'll be taking my leave. Please, stay as long as you like. Enjoy. Yeah. Oh, wait, no. Hey. Why does it seem like every time I come here, I end up embarrassing myself? Wait, now's my chance to snoop around a bit. Oh, I almost forgot. Yeah, you came back quick. Might I ask you to inform Miss May that there is a message for her? Please tell her that Mr. White of Blue Corp phoned. Oh, right, sure. White? Didn't Maya say that a Mr. White destroyed their mom? <laughs> White. That was his name. My sister told me. White was the name of the guy who ruined Mia and Maya's mother. Could it be a coincidence? Then, quick, before she gets done taking a deuce, there's a screwdriver sticking out of that half open drawer. Now's my chance to see what's inside. Four screws. What do we have here? Ah, a wiretap. Hmm. What would a woman like her be doing with a thing like this? That's how he listened in on her phone conversation with her sister and knew where she was hiding the papers. Oh, yeah. There's definitely something suspicious about this Miss May. She's the lady that's staying in this hotel that's obviously in cahoots with Mr. White. Why don't she have something like this in her hotel? There's a story behind all this, I know it. All right. I'll be using this bit of evidence in tomorrow's trial, that's for sure. For Maya's sake. I'll get to this woman's bottom. Wait, I mean, you know what I mean. Oh, Bellboy? Still there? Uh oh, time to scram. I look forward to taking one with you tomorrow, Miss May. In court? place to wrap up the video. The next time we'll go to court. 
That was intense. What, honey? That was an intense investigation. <laughs>